Hey YouTube, welcome back. I think it's been four months since I posted that video about my transmission breaking down. So I'm in my new house finally. This is my new garage. It's a two and a half car garage and it's got high roof. It's, it, it's got outlets almost everywhere. I, I'm gonna need outlets. Once I get rid of this refrigerator, this area will look a lot nicer. Um, I'm planning on installing one of those ductless um, AC split units. So it does air conditioning and heat. I'm gonna do that later because, you know, out here in Arizona, working in these hot garages, it's just, you know, it's killer. But anyways, the reason why we're here is because of this. We're here to do the VR30 transmission swap on the G. Um, it's already on, I already have it on the jack stands. I already drained the fluid. From here, the plan is to remove the exhaust, remove the dry shaft, remove the starter, and from there, probably disconnect, whatever I can disconnect. And then from there, start taking out the bolts and bring it down with this Harbor Freight transmission jack. But, so, what I'm gonna be using as a guide is um, a YouTube channel called Infinity Brothers. The, the guy that actually runs that channel, his name is Alvin. Um, if you wanna reach out to him for questions, you can find him on Instagram, which is what I did. I believe it's Infinity Brothers. Um, so I'll put that in the description. Um, I asked him a couple questions. He got to be, he got back to me the same day, so which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm basically gonna be following his video. So I'm not gonna repeat what he's already done. I'm just gonna add to it wherever I feel like I need to. So I'm gonna put the two videos that I think are really good um, for all the information you need. Um, there's there's a lot to it. It's not just drop the old one, drop the new one in. You have to swap out the TCM, and you can even swap out the solenoids. So once I get to that stuff, you know, we'll get more in depth, but I think for the most part, a lot of this is gonna be uh, time-lapse uh, footage. So let's stop wasting time and let's get to it. One click forward is neutral. Once you undo that clip, that'll let you rotate this so that you can get the bolts at the back of the dry shaft to the diff. Okay, so I basically have it, have all the bolts out. I have it on the jack stand. Just so you know, you gotta remove this plate that's under here. Um, I thought it was the support, support part of the support frame, but it's not, it's just like a cover. There's four bolts that are facing this way. And if you don't remove that plate, good luck getting those out. So one, two, three, four. Once you get those out, it shouldn't be that hard. And then um, I can't remember how many in total, but I'll go over that later. But let's bring this thing down. I have the last, the last four, the two on each side of the of that cross beam on the transmission. I left those for last, so I'm gonna loosen those up and start wiggling this thing loose. Wish me luck.
so there it is it's out finally what I uh, had to end up doing was tilt the jack the back up and the front down and remove these brackets and the transmission slid off of it and onto that rug and then it was just a matter of pulling it out from here um, there was no other way because this is as high as I was willing to go on these jack stands not worth the risk I'm not losing my life over this so um, I'm gonna call it a day because I've been working going at it all day and I'm beat if you can't tell by my shirt it's completely soaked in sweat so anyways catch you in the morning holy crap I need a haircut welcome back to the next day actually I have a confession to make it's the next day next day I took the next day off because I didn't think I could make, I can do two days in a row in this uh, hot garage. So I decided to take the day off, rest up, um, meet my mind clear for this next part where we switch the TCMs and we need to make sure that that's done correctly, uh, as well as switching over each solenoid. Um, again, I'm probably not going to go into too much depth into that because Alvin from the Infinity Brothers went over that like really well like there's no point of me trying to trying to redo what he did so it's probably gonna be mostly time-lapse what I did want to give you guys is a couple tips from the previous night the previous evening when I was finishing up um, so again sometimes you just kind of have to know when to quit when you're getting to that point where you're just tired and you just can't think so when I was talking about removing that, that, that little cover, that service cover, that's actually to remove the four bolts that hold the, that hold the, the uh, torque converter to the uh, flex plate. And there's four little bolts, they're 14 millimeter. Let me show you what I mean real quick. So what you're gonna need to do is take a 19 millimeter long socket to the crank pulley and you're gonna need to rotate the engine clockwise and while that's happening you'll see here where this hole right here it's where the the bolt that holds the torque converter to this flex, flex plate um, and then you'll take um, a 14 millimeter, long 14 millimeter, and you'll come in here and you'll loosen it. While you're doing that, you'll have to counter, you'll have to counter, uh, rotate this one so that you can loosen that one. If you don't, the, that's just literally gonna spin and you won't be able to do anything. So that's that tip. Last tip on that, you gotta make sure the transmission's actually on the, the block of the engine because that needs to come out with this because if you don't, if you just try to remove that without the transmission in place, that's just gonna fall and, and hit the floor. So no bueno, so make sure that and that's what I did. I pulled this off and then I realized uh, I had to still take that out. So I had to put this back. But you know, it wasn't a big deal. Anyways. Check that out. That's all the shaving, metal shavings from the, the gears 
and the moving parts. That looks like a lot. Like I've never taken one of these apart, but if just looking at this. So something definitely catastrophic happened inside. Okay, while that drains, I'm gonna do the same with this one and flip those around. I'm probably gonna switch the solenoids around because the solenoids in this one will be much newer than these. And I'm probably gonna use the gasket from this one because this one supposedly has 9,100 miles. So I'm gonna switch the gasket as well. So let me get to that. In case you're wondering if um, the year transmission that the whoever you buy from tells you, you can tell by the number, the first two numbers off of, off of the solenoids. Um, this is off of a 2019. And if you can see the 19 there, 19 on each and every one of these. I know these are upside down. Uh, this is off of my 2013. So there's a 13. Pushed around, all I gotta do is snap everything back in. And you wanna hear first make sure that all the oil seals are there. And they are. There's two, there's one at the tip, one in the back. I think they're all there. Okay, no, they're definitely all there. All right, final step. Valve body's back in. I just gotta put all the bolts back in reverse order and then I have to put the oil pan gasket and try to mount it back to the car, to the block. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so for this final part, I'm just gonna give like the way I took all these bolts and I kept track of them. So obviously first you take off the, the filter, which is all of this right here, all these bolts following the this line here okay once you take that off make sure you leave them the way the way they are um, don't take them out and then play them, play them around all right after that I did these right here one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight yep I did the eight in here all of these are the same length you don't have to worry about keeping these in order um, but 
you should double check them as you take them out to make sure don't just go off of what I said just make sure that you know that these are all if they're all the same length you can just put a piece of towel uh, um, shot towel here put those both there after those I took out all of the outside ones starting from here okay um, just remember okay this is one of the tips that Alvin gives in his video this one with the nut that one with the nut and that one with the nut you do not take out that's what keep that's what's holding the two bow bodies together you don't want to do that um, sounds like if you if they if you do that and you, they fall apart it's a nightmare to put them back together so don't do it so after the gasket these eight in here I, I started here and I just went uh, on the outside so this one 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 and this one and I'm trying to remember if if all of those I don't remember if those were uh, any different in length but actually no they weren't because I remember I had them piled up all together because as I was taking them out I was putting them next to each other to make sure but again don't go off of what I say double check yourself after I did those on the outside then I moved to this section here this section here one two three four five six and these two these two for sure they're labeled B's these are longer and they go with this bracket here so those two you keep together with the bracket and then you remove this one this one this one this one this one and that one I think these are all the same length but I'm gonna keep repeating myself double check just to make sure if they're not then keep an eye out of the way you take you took them out in what order and then when you put them down put them down next to each other in that same order just don't forget where you started and finally the last five you'll be left this with this one this one this one this one and this one these three are all different lengths these two are the same length so again I started on the left and worked my way this way and then I put all of these in order next to each other remembering that I started here and went that way from left to right okay you can do it from right to left however it makes sense to you just make sure that you come up with like a group do this in groups don't take them all off don't go all crazy and just take them all out and then later you're gonna be like crap I don't remember how this stuff went take your time I've been I've been going at this for a couple hours now because I want to make sure that I did it correctly don't rush it it's not worth it the car's already down so there's really you're not saving yourself any any time by rushing it but anyways that's my tip on that um, if you do this good luck hope it works out for you too I hope it works out for me too because obviously we haven't gotten to the end of the video yet so bro do you even be our 30 swap bro it feels so good seeing this thing put back together after going through all this stuff I'm not gonna show the mounting this back onto the car because you know it's the same as taking it off the only difference is on this one we're gonna probably not gonna be able to use I think for sure these two and possibly this one and I almost forgot I still have to grind this out so uh, for the I think it's the vehicle speed sensor that goes here but it's actually um, the other transmission it's down here um, this is probably a good spot to stop this video um, next video is gonna be really exciting though because I got a notification that my uh, custom dry shaft is coming tomorrow and so are the two oil coolers I already purchased the oil pan gasket and all the other um, crush washers that I needed but anyways don't forget to hit the like subscribe I will be doing a thousand subscriber giveaway so don't miss out on that number one requirement is you have to be subscribed to the channel so promise next video really 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 good content um, so thanks again for joining if you watched all the way to the end I greatly appreciate that and I will see you at the next one